I warmly welcome you all to this today's English class. Okay, today we can learn something interesting which was learned from our small childhood days that is homonyms. I think most of you are familiar with homonyms. It's, let's brush up. In textbook, you can see it in the page number 126. So, what do you know about homonyms? When you hear the word homonyms, please keep in your mind two or more words having the same spelling as well as pronunciation, but it has different meaning as well as its origin differs from it. Okay. So, now you uh, get an idea what is homonym, right? So, homonyms are two or more words with the same spelling or pronunciation, but different meaning these words can sometimes be confusing especially for children learning to spell them when you uh, try to spell them you may uh, get confused okay so let's enter into the next slide so i will introduce the homonyms with some of the example possible examples okay the first example fine you get two meanings right fine means uh, in daily conversation in message as well as text we use fine okay it's fine i have a fine day it's a pleasant day like that so it has two meaning fine means good as well as thin fine gives uh, two meanings that is good as well as thin then next we can see the example pen pen means holding for holding for animals uh, as well as writing instrument uh, we all used to write in pen right so pen as well as place for holding animals third example we can see die die means two we can see one is dice which is a uh, uh, which you can uh, you can see a coin which has tail as well as head and another one meaning is passing away. Uh, we usually say, say right. In leave letters also, you usually write as my grandfather died or my uncle dies like that. So it has two meaning. Uh, th then another, another one, great example is wave. Wave which is refers to the beach as well as hand. We has two meaning, uh, but uh, it, it spells the same but differs in the meaning as well as in origin okay next one is blue blue as the color as well as the feeling something uh, gives the meaning that feeling sad next spring spring when you hear about the uh, word spring it has two meaning one uh, a metal of a metal which is uh, in pen in most of the play kick pen also it has spring right inside it so it also refers to spring as well as the season which has uh, like summer winter it also consider as a season so next one is book book has also two meaning one is something you you read in your life uh, even you take example uh, english book it's also a great example for it and making a reservation booking a uh, uh, booking tickets tickets uh, to go out or to our grandparents house or anywhere next next example is stock stock means a part of a plant as well as to harass by following next next example is beer beer means an animal as well as withstand difficulties next the for, uh, rose rose means uh, we we ask the as the tense right rose rise rose risen it's a past form rise and uh, rose also refers to the flower next last last one is fair fair means equitable as well as beautiful we always compare right uh, she's a fair girl she's uh, looking average like that so uh, it also comes under it I hope you all understand this uh, homonym. I have given enough example to make you understand easily.
so now i will explain you in detail about hormones okay okay definition of hormones hormones are words that are spelled the same and sound the same but have different meanings the word hormones come from the prefix homo homo means same and the suffix nim means name therefore a uh, homonym is a word that has at least two different meanings so uh, how many meaning does it have it has two different meaning even though all uses look and sound exactly alike it looks exactly but it gives different meaning so one of the most common examples of a homonym in english is the word bat so bat can uh, can give a meaning the a piece of equipment you use in some sports that means cricket bat and it also refers to the animal but these both sound exactly the same when you say them out aloud when you say them uh, aloud it gives same spelling as well as same pronunciation right and they spelled exactly the same way too to understand which word is said you have to understand context clues rather than just relying on the pronunciation or spelling of the word itself next now we can see some of the example first image in first image you can see a bark which refers to the branch branch of a tree so it also gives a same sound at the same time barking dog the dog barks we usually say it right so barking both bark gives the same uh, pronunciation and but it differs in the meaning it refers to the branch as well as it refers to the it refers to the barking and the next example is match the first match refers to the match box which you uh, which our parents or ma mom usually uses in the kitchen right we all had seen this match box right so it refers to the match and the second one is uh now we are familiar with ipl match right most of us like matches so it refers to the to the match which were co conducted in the playground like cricket match volleyball match all we can compare it so first matches uh refer to the match box and the second one is refer to the match which was conducted in the ground and the third third example is bat to bat which i was said previously first bat refers to the to the cricket bat and the secondly uh, bat which flies uh, refers to a mammal as you all know okay next we can come to know about the difference between homonyms homographs and homophones homonyms can be separated into two groups that are homographs and homophones firstly we can see about homophones okay so homophones are words that share the name pronunciation re regardless of the spelling the word phone in homophone means sound phone means sound for example uh, we can say right right night night and the words that sound the same but have different meaning and are spelled differently first uh, in homonyms we have seen that it spells and uh, pronounce same right but here it spelled differently we can see the spelling too week w e a k k as well as w e e k and sun s u n sun and s o n sun this sun refers to the sunlight it refers to the sun daughter sun okay c what is meant by c seeing something the c refers to the river ocean like that this plane plane means aeroplane like that plane means empty meeting someone 
and this meat means next we can see about homographs okay while homonyms can have different spelling homographs are words that share the same spelling but they do not share the same pronunciation okay now you can uh, can realize the difference between homographs homonyms and homophones right so uh, if you understand the concept it is very easy to to learn so address first you can see the example address address this both as same spelling right but in homophones we have seen different spelling do you remember it previously you can see right week week it differs in spelling right this o it is homophone but in homographs it doesn't differ in spelling it has same spelling same pronunciation but in meaning uh, only it differs okay but firstly you can even see in the textbook 126 the page number 126 firstly address the first address refers to the location uh, we we usually ask ask someone right uh, this address uh, can you guide me in this address like that for example this is a address uh, so it refers to the location but secondly the another address which uh, which refers to to speak to what that means addressing someone uh, like that uh, addressing uh, he is a president like that we will address someone right in meeting we will address no now he will come to come to read about uh, this man or particular man like that it's also refers to address and the second example is bad band what is mean by band uh, in most of the marriage house we have here right some musical instrument they are playing a group of people playing uh, musical instrument it it refers to band okay for example the band was playing old songs and the another band that refers to a ring it's new to you right band means it also refers to a ring for example she always ties her hair back in a band and third example bat uh, we seen seen this example previously you all remember it right first bat refers to a mammal mammal uh, we mostly see in the night times it uh, it won't stay in a stable place it always flew here and there and uh, it it, uh, it it's support in supporter tree it always stay in a supporter tree so for example i am afraid of bats and the second uh, second meaning for bat is an implement used to hit a ball that is cricket bat so for example i love my cricket bat so like that you must compare everything with uh, with suitable examples or suitable works everything so it will be very useful for you in your class to understand this homonyms very easily you have i i hope you have all learned it from your young age right from your uh second standard or third standard whatever it is so make use of every grammar single grammar it will be very useful for your up, upcoming days also in ninth standard also you will come to learn everything and the next fourth example you can see right we can see the two words right first right meaning is correct for example e is right we will say right you are correct yes absolutely you are correct your answer is correct it refers to that the second is second is direction we will you usually say right we have seen the fifth fifth unit being safe i said you right uh, before crossing the road you must see right side as well as left side so it is also a great example so direction uh for example take a right turn you must take a right turn it is also a, gui a guiding part so it has two meaning correct which is which has an example is right as well as uh, the second meaning is direction which we 
guide someone by saying go right or left these are some of the example which we have seen now so now we can see some of the homophones or homonyms in english we often use ad what is meant by ad ad means advertisement we will use the short form as ad ad means this add means adding something extra a this also differs in spelling as well as a a i r and h e i r or all all allowed allowed arms arms these are some of the examples so let's have a recap session uh, we can brush with some of the some of the things so as a recap i like to i like to say what is meant by homonyms what is meant by homonyms homonym means two or more words having the same spelling as well as pronunciation but as different meaning so now i will i will show some of the example as i choose the correct answer your perfume has a wonderful dash scent right so the spelling c e n t comes in the first answer and the second one i bang my dash on the leg of the table to t o e to refers to refers to it and the third example what dash do you take to work root which root will come which root r o o t right s the wind dash the door closed blue b l e w because b l u e refers to the color she returned to the she returned to the dash of the accident scene s c e n e next okay i i hope you all have understand something about homonyms right so okay okay now you have all know what is homonyms everything so as a recap also we have done everything uh okay and we can see the book back i have given homework i as a follow up work for you right all you remember right which i have given in the previous class but i have received only some of the papers in the whatsapp but i need everyone's answer sheet to be submitted so as a, in the book back we can see write a sentence of your own for each homonyms first bright the meaning of bright is very smart or intelligent we will say right it's a bright student he is a bright student he is a intelligent student he is very smart in answering the question it all comes under it these example you must write in the own and submit it in the google classroom or in whatsapp group whatsapp as uh, as well as uh, you as soon as you reach it reach this video you must submit all in, all without fail and next word is express express means something done fast or conveying a message third kind kind means it has two meaning type or caring someone very kind person kind means it's a kind type of a kindness all refers to it and the fourth one is well well means in good health as well as well we will usually take in ancient days right water resource it is a water resource okay as a follow up work i have given you enough ample of examples so you now you must have all clarity idea about it right so make use of the time and complete all your works and submit it on time with a 
in, in Google Classroom or in WhatsApp group without any fail. Uh, thank you. you. I hope you all enjoyed this session.